Hey guys, welcome to your bi-weekly love reading. This is for Aries, Sun, Moon, and Rising for the next couple of weeks of December 2021. So I want to thank you guys for all your love and support. Please keep in mind these are general, so they may or may not resonate, but hopefully you get some clarity. Also, if you're wanting to book a personal or private reading, be sure to check the description box below for ways to reach me. Um, make sure you're registered at Bill Per Call. If you want to talk by phone, you, you've got to request the call back in order for me to call you back. If I don't get back to you that day, I'll get back to you within a seven day time frame. Um, be sure to check me out on Patreon for the monthly Venus sign readings um, and check me out on TikTok. All right, so we have the overall energy as the Three of Wands, the Star, the Ace of Wands. We have the Empress, the Devil, Six of Swords, the King of Pentacles, and the Ten of Wands. I'm sorry, Ten of Swords. Um, okay, so overall energy... I feel like you guys are trying to manifest something like there is something that you're really focused on. Maybe you've been, you know, looking at videos or reading books about the law of attraction or just about, uh, you know, manifestation in general. And I feel like you have put all your energy towards your desire, this dream that you have. Maybe it's to be with um, a person, maybe. Um, it is to have a family or, you know, anything could be anything. But since we are focusing on, you know, the love readings, it just seems like there's something or someone that you really have been hoping to be with. Um, and even I feel like you've been having these dreams and really hoping that these dreams become some sort of reality. Um, and it does seem like something is being promised to you, but um, maybe you just have to wait a little longer or the way it's going to manifest is not the way that you think it's going to manifest, but it is happening. Um, so I feel like for the most part, you've put a lot of, a lot of energy into this desire, this person, this outcome, and now you're just kind of waiting to see what happens. Um, it's even possible that you took advantage of some sort of opportunity for love. Maybe you put yourself out there. You're like, you know what? I'm going to be vulnerable. I'm going to tell this person how I feel um, and then see what happens from there. Or maybe someone did that to you. But it does seem like now we wait. There's this period of anticipation um, and just kind of waiting to see, you know, what happens after that. Um, it also looks like, um, spiritual fishing where it's like, there's something that you snagged, like you caught something, you didn't know what you were going to catch, but you caught something and now you're having to be patient as you reel it in. Um, so I do feel like something is being reeled in and even this to me confirms that, um, your desire has been Im impregnated by the universe. So now all you do is nurture that desire. Um, maybe more so like nurturing yourself and, you know, just doing things to help you reach that goal. However, whatever you wish for may come with a price. Um, what you are getting ready to manifest, I feel like is strong energy. Um, and I feel like this is uh, kind of like your shadow. It is a part of yourself, but whatever you're manifesting is coming from a place of, of like, the root chakra. Not that anything's wrong with your root chakra. All your chakras are important. I just feel like something has been too fixated on material things. So 
it's like you're getting what you wish for, but, you know, it's going to cost you. You are going to have to deal with some sort of karmic energies. Maybe the person that's coming into your life comes with baggage. Um, maybe they're a handful. You know, it's like they're a lot to deal with. Maybe they have like five baby mamas um, and their mom or, you know, several children, like something's going on and not saying anything's wrong with the fact that maybe someone has multiple children, but it's, it's not easy, you know, especially if there is an issue. Ooh, who's, that is not supposed to happen. Uh -uh. Okay. So like maybe there is an issue with like, um, the baby's mom or something. Um, and so she's not taking care of the children. That means that if you really love that person, that responsibility might fall on you. Knowing that if they're going to drop it off, the child off with the father, you know, if you love the father, then, you know, you, you're going to have that responsibility of being their mother or mother figure. Or if you're a guy watching, just knowing that you're going to be um, that person's parent. So I do feel like whatever you wish for is going to come with, um, you know, it's, it's not it's going to be difficult. It's not something easy to navigate through. Um, you also are going to see parts of yourself that could be unsavory. Maybe they bring out your bad habits. Um, let's say you were a smoker for, you know, 15, 20 years. You've been... Uh, cigarette free for the past five years or whatever the minute you come into uh, contact with this person all they do is smoke you know it's just like oh my god I just stopped smoking they're tempting me like I don't want to do I'm trying need to stick to they can do what they want to do but I, I need to make sure that I don't fall victim to cigarettes again so I kind of feel like they may have a tendency to challenge you or bring out your bad habits or things that you are needing to um, cut off. Um, I also feel that this person may be very possessive in a sense where if you're childbearing age, um, they might want to get you pregnant or the female might try to get pregnant on purpose. You know, it's just like, well, you know, you're stuck. So I just kind of feel like maybe someone likes to leave their mark or likes to leave an impression. So that is very hard to detach or get rid of them. Even if no child is involved, the energy itself, I feel like is going to be very strong and hard to detach from. Um, but it does seem like you're being like, hypnotized by this energy like all they do is whisper and you come you just kind of flow towards them um i do feel too that this is indicating that you guys are connected spiritually and telepathically there's a bond there it seems like you can't break that bond for those of you where this doesn't necessarily mean that you have to deal, uh, have to be in a relationship, you might just be dealing with this type of energy where you seem like you're just attracted to this, this person, this energy, because it does, for some of you, it does seem like you want to cut that energy off. Um, any energy that's too addictive or any energy that you feel is unhealthy, you might be wanting to cut it off. You're like, oh my God, I can't. This person, I, I've done so many, um, what do you call it, detachment spells or whatever. It's like you're trying to get rid of that energy, but it still keeps coming back. Um, if you're wondering why you can't disconnect, I really feel like maybe there's something, maybe it's something about that connection that you're still learning from, something that your soul needs Um whether you recognize it that way or not. I do feel that whoever comes into your life, 
they are going to activate whatever house Aquarius is in, whatever house Capricorn is in, and whatever house your Venus sits in. Um, your Venus might be starved or like it it needs some sort of nurturing or maybe you don't have any planets in Aquarius and Capricorn uh, but you need something about them that maybe they have planets in those signs so when they come into your life they can activate those houses um, so I mean if you view it from a spiritual perspective you know maybe you need those energies I still feel like anytime the devil feel, comes up, though, there's a need to balance that energy, um, make some sort of adjustments or set boundaries, because this energy can definitely consume you. It can overwhelm you. Um, it can be addictive. And it does look like you are finding balance here with the six of swords it, it looks like this is about finding balance and kind of being at peace and going with the flow of things and under coming to some sort of understanding of you know what you have manifested or you know what this contract is so i also see this as some sort of contract mm. I also feel that if something is straight physical or dealing with lust um, and you still want to be with that person outside of that lower energy, then you guys are needing to work on that. You guys are needing to develop that, you know, some sort of connection where you are able to get deeper with each other and, and not focus so much on uh, the lower energies. Again, not that anything's wrong with the lower energies, but all your chakras are important and I feel like they all need attention. But right now, maybe whatever you're attracting really has to do with a need, a strong need for that energy. Um, hmm. Now, you also could be dealing with an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, maybe Aquarius or Gemini. I feel like once the physical part is over, like there's a need to ask yourself, is there anything more? Can it stand on anything else? And sometimes maybe it can't. I also feel like there is something that is going to change you forever about your relationship. There also is the possibility of, of a pregnancy and things just completely changing after the baby. Someone also may need some sort of surgery. Um, dealing with a pregnancy, I'm getting you know something dealing with the um, the cervix or like a c-section outside of of um pregnancy someone may need back surgery or they are having some sort of back issues Some of you may have a challenge to see if you can let something go, even though you're still attached. Some of you will be dealing with temptation. Be careful too that you know, this isn't a situation where after you sleep together, you don't hear from them anymore. You know, it's a wrap. And then not only that, but you end up being pregnant. Hmm. Yeah, some of you are really trying to deal with some sort of 
desires. Either you're trying to, you know, you're dealing with repressed energy and somebody is activating that within you. I also feel that you're going to be dealing with a lot of emotional things. Um, possible abandonment issues or trust issues. I do feel like there is a relationship that is pushing you out of your comfort zone. Also could be um, another fire sign involved. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Maybe Pisces. If you're an empath, I feel like you are struggling with, you know, dealing with someone else's energy. And I've mentioned it before, but you also could be um, a physical empath where you also are able to um, feel what someone is going through physically. Do you see overindulgence too much of a good thing isn't always good either you also want to make sure that someone isn't playing mind games and just stringing you along You guys are definitely dealing with temptation and trying to block off some sort of intense energy. You might find yourself feeling very emotional um, or having some sort of uh, mood swings. I feel that you, you know, again, going back to someone who comes with some sort of baggage um, seems like there is an attachment with a water sign and um, maybe uh, like I said another fire sign maybe even a Libra what's crazy too is that I'm getting that this is like you have a soul contract with someone but of course you don't you don't want it. You're like, no more karma. I don't want to deal with these issues. I don't want to go through the dark night of the soul. I don't want to dig deep. I just want a normal relationship. But I feel like something is like, I kind of, pers this is just my personal belief, but I feel like the birth, your birth chart is also a contract. It's an agreement. It's something that was already made like, you exercised your free will before coming down here. Some things I feel like there are wiggle room, but when you have a lot of fixed energy, uh, Leo, um, what do you call it? Scorpio, um, Aquarius, and um, I'm forgetting a uh, fixed, I'm forgetting another fixed sign, Taurus. If you If you have like a lot of fixed energies in your chart, whether it's your rising sign or a lot of planets in those fixed signs, especially like a Venus for relationships, I feel like those are the things that it's like, hey, that's kind of fixed. You know, the mutable signs, maybe you got some wiggle room with that, but the, the fixed energy, like you agreed to this before you came here. Um, so maybe you don't have like a lot of wiggle room. Um, yeah, and so it looks like there's a, a soul contract or a soul agreement that you might have and you don't want to deal with it because you know you're like no that's not me you know but I feel like you always need to kind of view it differently like you know just what am I supposed what am I not seeing what am I supposed to learn from this connection what am I surrendering what is this person showing me you know and I feel like that's the attitude especially when you're on a spiritual path those are the questions that you need to be asking yourself it's easier to get it over with when you you know, hold yourself accountable for what you're attracting or what you're having to go through. But I also say, you know, and I don't remember to say it every video, but trust me, I know, you know, it doesn't always mean that you're necessarily having to be in a relationship with these people. Um, 
but the energy still exists. You know, if you're trying to cut off any type of energy from someone and it just keeps coming back, you might have to try a different um, method to manage that energy or transmute it or work with it. that whatever direction you decide to go in in regards to your love life whether you're choosing to stay single or you're moving forward with somebody in particular I feel like you're going to have support from other people or at least one person is going to have your back and then spiritually I feel like you're being supported or encouraged I also feel that if you've been very guarded or something about you has been very blocked, I feel like those blockages are coming down and things are going to start getting easier or you're gradually going to start trusting more um, or your confidence is going to be restored. Getting the name of a girl, maybe um, Amina or Amy. have said something to hurt you or you might end up saying something that hurts someone um, and then too I feel like there could be some sort of miscommunication or something's being misdirected also if you keep ignoring a love interest I feel like they're going to constantly try to get your attention or find ways to get you to talk to them. Um, you know, they might be like, did I leave my watch over there? Did I leave my earrings over there? You know, like they might be finding excuses to come see you or to talk to you or call you. Oh, I called this number by mistake. I don't, I didn't know who is this. They call you and then be like, who is this? Oh, I didn't know this number was showed up in my phone and they called me and it's like okay I did not call but okay you know just anything like that um somebody is also indirectly trying to say that they miss you or they're having a hard time getting over you or you might feel that way mm. I also feel like someone feels like they missed an opportunity to talk when they had the chance. If you don't respond to someone, more than likely it's because they were not forward enough in their approach. Or maybe they were, you just don't have time for games. Yeah, so those are the messages that I have for you guys. Hopefully something resonates. Uh, feel free to leave your feedback. Thank you for watching. Sending you love and grace.